You have always been a prisoner. I'm here to set you free. We might have nearly a year before Game of Thrones returns to our screens, but HBO isn't leaving us in the lurch. Its new TV show, Westworld, will premiere on Sunday, and trust me when I say you're going to want to tune in. I'm entertainment editor Lauren, and this is why Westworld is the best TV show since Game of Thrones. I think there may be something wrong with this world. A remake of the 1973 movie of the same name, Westworld is a theme park for adults, set in the Wild West and populated by extremely realistic robots called hosts. It's not hard to imagine what goes on here, but it's not all about sex and violence. OK, a lot of it is, but guests can enjoy a nice simple campfire adventure too if they want. This is HBO though, so unsurprisingly, not everything is as it seems. While the guests drink, kill hosts and generally have a grand old time, you realise some of the robots might not be as tame as you first think. Just don't forget, they're not real. Evan Rachel Woods Dolores is a host that has no problem repeating her never-ending story loop for the amusement of guests. But even she starts to exhibit signs of change. You're one of them, aren't you? You're not real. Tandy Newton's brothel madam starts having flashbacks of maintenance done to her body, while Dolores' dad has a complete breakdown after finding a photograph of a guest in a modern city. So what's causing it? Well, maybe Anthony Hopkins' super creepy Westworld owner who secretly slipped some new code into a host update to make them more realistic, but might have actually given them free will. Hopkins' turn as Dr Ford will remind you why he's a first-rate actor as you both marvel and fear at the world he's created. And let's not forget about the gunslinger roaming Westworld searching for a hidden story. Neither host nor your usual guest, Ed Harris is chilling as he murders and rapes his way around the Wild West. Who he really is and what he's looking for is unknown, but he ends the first episode covered in blood and scraping bodily tissue from a scalp. He's very happy about it. If you think Westworld is going to follow the usual Western tropes, with the good guys beating the bad guys and getting the girl, you're in for a shock. And what goes on behind the scenes is just as interesting and disturbing as what happens inside Westworld. Dealing with issues of identity, ethics and slavery, Westworld will have you asking yourself what you would do in a world with no consequences. And if you're anything like me, you'll wonder for the rest of the season if you made the right choice. Westworld will premiere this Sunday on HBO in the US and on Tuesday on Sky Atlantic in the UK. If you're excited about it, then let us know in the comments below. And for more entertainment news, reviews, previews and features, keep it here on Games Radar Plus. Are we very old friends? No, I wouldn't say friends, Dolores. I wouldn't say that at all.